Today I'm going to be teaching you how to blow dry your hair so that it looks full, voluminous, and professionally done, and how to make your hair that's really fine and thin actually look super thick and gorgeous. And we're going to do it right now. Tip number one, in order to get volume, you must incorporate volumizing products into every step of your hair care routine. I'm going to start by cocktailing two products together in order to get the best result. I am using milkshake whipped cream, which gives me condition and bounce while also controlling some frizz. And then I'm using KMS add volume, which is a volumizing spray gel. And I'm just concentrating that on the roots. I like to massage that product into my roots with my fingertips. Once you have both products in, run a brush through your hair to evenly distribute the products. Then rough dry your hair so it's about 35% dry. It makes round brushing a lot easier. Tip number two. You wanna rough dry so the soaking wet hair look is gone, but not too much that you lose the ability to manipulate the hair. Your hair should still be very damp when you start round brushing or you take away the hair's ability to be transformed by the heat of the blow dryer and the bristles of the round brush. Now you wanna section your hair starting at the bottom with a one inch section and that brings me to tip number three if you try to incorporate too much hair into your round brush you will lose control over it you need to keep the width of the hair no longer than the width of the brush and direct the blow dryer's airflow down the hair shaft in order to smooth out the cuticle take another one inch section and move piece by piece up the head you have to be patient with this if you try to take too much hair you will not get the end result that you want Tip number four, the cool shot button is your best friend when it comes to volume. Once you get your hair 100% dry, wrap it around the barrel and blast that cool shot button. What you end up doing is setting the volume into the hair. Tip number five, at the front, what you wanna do is blow dry the roots with your brush positioned under the hair to smooth out the cuticle. Once you have that dry, turn your brush so that it's actually on top of the hair. Wrap and blast it with heat and then set it with that cool shot button. What you end up with is volume and movement that's moving away from your face. To get major volume in the fringe, blow dry it forward first until the roots are dry and then move your brush back. Wrap your hair around the brush, blast it with hot air and then cool it off. Tip number six, use some duckbill clips to hold the shape at the top and let it set longer. This makes a huge difference. Once you take these clips off, you will be amazed at how much volume you just got. I like to move along the head doing that to the entire top section. Then I blast it with a light hold finishing spray, wait a few minutes and then release it. As you can see, there is just a massive amount of natural volume now. Tip number seven. If there are any areas where you feel you need to change the movement, heat up your brush with a blow dryer and use that to manipulate the hair. You can use your flat iron, but if you do that, you will crush the volume substantially. As a finishing step, without even using hairspray, I like to take my brush and give the crown area a light back comb. This just gives me a little bit of that extra lift. Finish off with a light holding volumizing hairspray for additional control and longer wear time without weight or stick, and then you're good to go. I just love how this looks. I typically do it once or twice a week, and then in the morning I touch up my hair with a hot tool. It's amazing because when your hair's cuticle is smoothed and volumized, all other hot tool styles look way better. Trust me, you have to try it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found these tips really, really useful. If you have any questions or you want me to make a video about something that you're curious about, then leave it in the comment section below. I really love reading your comments. If you are interested in this video, you may be interested in this one next. I will see you in a few days. Bye.